What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to scan documents using Microsoft Office Lens and how to back up those scans into Google Photos. Now this video is a part of a playlist called Life Improving Technology where we show you ways to use technology as a tool to optimize your life. Now Microsoft Office Lens is a free tool that turns your smartphone into a portable document scanner. Now efficient scanning is a accomplished with automatic framing and optional post scan and manual editing. Once document scans are completed, you can save them in multiple places or share them. As always, I only feature products or services that I buy or would like to buy. This gives the channel more credibility and appeal because we feature items that interest me and change the way we live. Don't have time to watch the whole video? We're now a podcast you can find on multiple platforms by searching for Pixels Cracked. You can also support the podcast by making a small monthly donation. And if you are listening to this on a podcast, you can find the YouTube channel by searching for Pixels Cracked as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are with the screen recording on my Pixel 5. We're going to start by opening up the Google Play Store. Next, we're going to do a search for Microsoft Office Lens. Once we found the app, we can tap install. Once the app is installed, we can go ahead and tap open. Now, once this app is installed, it's going to ask for storage permission and we're going to tap allow. Now, the next screen is going to ask for camera permissions, which will allow us to take photos and create scans. And I recommend tapping on that first option there, which says while using the app. On the next screen, we can tap on start scanning. Now the next screen reviews the privacy guidelines, so we can tap next. Now the next screen asks if you want to send optional data to improve the services. And this is a personal choice, but I normally select accept and send optional data. This makes the app better. And then the next screen just explains in more detail what data is collected. And we're going to tap close. Now, once we've completed these steps, we enter scanning mode. And as you can see here, it looks like a regular camera app, but we've got this square floating over the image that we're trying to scan. And this is the cool part. If we move the camera, the app is going to try to automatically frame whatever it is that we're trying to scan. It's just very intuitive, it's easy to use, it requires little effort from the user. Now what you'll also see going on here is I placed the image that I'd like to scan on this surface, it's all the same color, it's gray, and it's non-textured, that's going to produce a better scan. Now don't be worried if the automatic framing is not optimal. You can see here that our orange outline box is not perfectly lined up with the image that we wanna scan. And that's okay because we can actually edit the framing once we've taken the picture. So we're going to tap on the picture button there. It's going to take a picture of the image you can see it did pretty good, but it's not perfect. So because it's not perfect, the next step is to edit the automatic framing by doing manual editing. This is easy, just tap on one corner at a time and just kind of drag it, line it up to the edges of the scanned document as good as possible. And obviously you wanna take your time doing this. You wanna create a good scan, you're gonna be saving this. Uh, so take your time, do a good job, and then once you get it where you want it, once it's optimal, we can confirm it. And now it's going to basically crop it some more so we have a scanned image. Now once we've tapped confirm, we have a toolbar that appears at the bottom of the screen. We can add another photo or we can do more edits for this scan. Now to finish the scan, we can tap done. Now on this next screen, we can rename the scan, which helps with identification and searches. So I'm going to put a name in here. We're going to call this Power A. And then if we tap the blue check mark, that will save the title. Now on this screen, we can also save the scan to our device or Microsoft's other services. Now to keep this video simple, we're just going to save the scan to gallery that's going to be on the device storage and we're going to tap save. Now this opens up a new page called My Files and these are just scanned images produced by Microsoft Office Lens. So let's talk about how to back up these scans to Google Photos. First, we're going to open the Google Photos app. 
At the bottom of Google Photos is our navigation bar, and this gives us three options. You can see we have Photos, Search, and Library, and we're going to tap on that last option, Library. Now we want to look at the section called Photos on Device, and this will be where our Office Lens scanned images will be, and we're going to look for Office Lens. So you might have to swipe left to see it in your display here, but I can find mine here. It's called Office Lens, and we're going to tap on that. Now this is where all our scanned images from Microsoft Office Lens would be, and we can back up and sync them to Google Photos just by tapping on the slider in the top of the screen there that will change the slider to blue and that's going to initiate the backup and sync option now we can also create individual albums for our scans this might be something you want to do if you're going to be adding a lot of scans just to keep things organized and you can do this by tapping and holding on the image there and then tapping on the plus icon at the top of the screen there and then tapping on album now this opens up a new page here where you can name your album. So we're just going to name this uh, controller mount. It's gonna be a long title for this video, but we're gonna go with it. I'm hoping I spell this perfectly. There we go. And we can verify that title by tapping on the blue check mark with the on-screen keyboard. And then we actually wanna save it. So we have to tap that blue check mark in the top left-hand corner as well. That is going to save the album. Now we have an album just for this uh, this scan here and we can throw all our controller mount scans into this album This again would be great if you're gonna have a lot of scans Maybe you're gonna have an album for medical documents bills uh, computer hardware uh, Make a whole bunch of albums so final thoughts a document scanning app like Microsoft Office Lens is life improving technology that can help you declutter and organize your documents more effectively. Simply repeat the steps shown in this video to back up and sync your documents in multiple areas so they're accessible for convenience and security. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the channel and podcast. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything that you do buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can support us is just by clicking the subscribe or follow button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're gonna think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out.